Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. This week, among other things, we thought we would highlight the Tony nominations. So to start us off, Hamilton has received 16 nominations. That is a record. They include Best Musical, Best Book and Best Score for Lin-Manuel Miranda, Best Leading Actor, Lin-Manuel Miranda and Leslie Odom Jr., Best Actress, Philippa Sue, for Best Actor in a Featured Role, David Diggs, Jonathan Groff, and Christopher Jackson. For Featured Actress, Renee Elise Goldberry. The other six nominations go to Scenic Design, Costume Design, Lighting Design, Direction, Choreography, and Orchestration. With 10 nominations, Shuffle Along has Best Musical, Best Book of a Musical by George C. Wolfe, Featured Actor, Brandon Victor Dixon, Featured Actress, Adrian Warren, Scenic Design, Costume Design, Lighting Design, Direction, Choreography, Orchestrations, and a special Tony Award to Brian Stokes Mitchell, the Isabel Stevenson Award. Bright Star has five nominations, including Best Musical, Best Book of a Musical by Steve Martin, Best Score by Steve Martin and Edie Brickell, Best Actress to Carmen Cusack, and for its orchestrations. You got the look, you got the feel, you got the face of true love. You got the charm, you got appeal, I got to let you go. Something tells me. Waitress has four nominations, Best Musical, Best Score by Sarah Bareilles, Best Actress to Jesse Mueller, and Featured Actor Christopher Fitzgerald. The fifth in the Best Musical category is School of Rock. Their other nominations include Best Book to Julian Fellows, who also gave us Downton Abbey, Best Score, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Glenn Slater, and Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role, Alex Brightman.
So just to recap, the best musicals up for a Tony Award this year are Bright Star, Hamilton, School of Rock, Shuffle Along, and Waitress. By the way, if you saw the Outer Critics Circle Awards, you know that Bright Star won this year. Last year, it went to Hamilton that started Off-Broadway. Now we go to Best Revival of a Musical, and leading the pack with eight nominations is She Loves Me, presented by the Roundabout Theatre Company. Zachary Levi is up for actor in a leading role in a musical, and Laura Benanti for leading actress, and featured actress Jane Krakowski. The other four nominations are for scenic design, costume design, best direction, and orchestrations. I'm trembling, what the hell does that mean? I'm freezing, that's because it's cold out. And still I'm incandescent, and like some adolescent, I'd like to scrawl on every wall I see. She loves me, she loves me. The next nomination is for The Color Purple with four. Best Musical, Best Director to John Doyle, Cynthia Erivo, and Danielle Brooks. on the Roof has three nominations, Best Revival of a Play, Best Actor in a Musical to Danny Burstein, and for Best Choreography. I did want to make note that Sheldon Harnick is getting a very special Tony Award this year. And recently, they named 53rd Street Harnick and Bach Way because the stage doors of She Loves Me and Fiddler on the Roof are literally across the street from each other. I don't think this has ever happened where a writer has had shows running in theaters that close at the same time. And to finish off the best revival category, 
Spring Awakening has three nominations, Best Revival, Best Lighting Design, and Best Director for Michael Arden. Mama who bore me, Mama the angels, no sleep in heaven or Bethlehem. Some pray that one day, one day Christ will come a calling, and I will find that home that he loves. Touch me, just like that. Yeah. And to recap the best revival of a musical, Color Purple, She Loves Me, Fiddler on the Roof, and Spring Awakening. And now for the best play category. The Humans is nominated for Best Play and five other awards. They include Reed Burney for Featured Actor in a Role, Jane Howdy Shell for Featured Actress, also Scenic Design, Lighting Design, and Best Direction of a Play, Joe Montello, written by Stephen Karam. Yeah, ladies, and of all the harm that e'er I had done, alas, was done to none but me. Enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while. It's not embarrassing at all. Thank you. <laughs> there is a maiden in this town who sorely has my heart beguiled. Yeah, it better be me. Eclipsed by Denai Guerrera has six nominations. They include Best Play, Best Director, Liesl Tommy, Lupito Nyong'o for Best Actress in a Leading Role, Pascal Armand, Featured Actress, Seikon Senblo also for Featured Role, and Best Costume Design. King Charles III by Mike Bartlett has five nominations. Best Play, Best Director, Rupert Gould, Best Actor, Tim Pickett-Smith, Richard Goulding for Featured Actor, and another one for Costume Design. Manhattan Theater Club's production of The Father by Florian Zeller is nominated for two awards, Best Play and Best Actor, Frank Langella. It's been going on for some time. Strange things going on around me. Haven't you noticed? There was this man claiming this wasn't my flat, a very unsympathetic looking man. A bit like your husband, only worse. You understand what I'm saying in my flat? He told me. You understand? It really takes the cake. He told me that this wasn't my flat, but this is my flat, isn't it? This is my flat, isn't it? Tell me, Anne. This really is my flat, isn't it? 
To recap, best play category is Eclipsed, The Humans, The Father, and King Charles III. In the best revival of a play category is Eugene O'Neill's Long Day's Journey Into Night presented by Roundabout Theatre Company. It includes the director, Jonathan Kent, the actors, Gabriel Byrne for leading actor, Jessica Lane for leading actress, and featured actor, Michael Shannon. Among its seven nominations are costume design and lighting design. Noises Off has five nominations, including Best Play Revival, and for Featured Actress, Megan Hilty and Andrea Martin, Featured Actor, David Furr, and Costume Design. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performance is about to begin! Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise at any moment. <laughs> Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge has five nominations, including Best Revival of a Play, Ivo Von Hova for Best Director, Mark Strong for Leading Actor in a Play, nominations for Scenic Design and Lighting Design. Ivo Von Hova also directed Arthur Miller's The Crucible, which is up for four nominations. Best Revival of a Play, Sophie Okonedo for Best Actress in a Leading Role, Bill Camp for Best Featured Actor, and a nomination for Lighting Design. Blackbird by David Harrower is nominated for three Tony Awards, including Best Revival of a Play, Jeff Daniels for Best Actor, and Michelle Williams for Best Actress. I don't know why he invited me, your father. I said hello to him on the street when I saw him. I, I helped him with his car once, but I was surprised when he asked me. I wasn't gonna come. I didn't know anybody there or, or, or neighbors, but you know, my windows were open. I could smell the, the barbecue five doors away, the smoke. It wasn't to because of you. I'd seen you on the street, around, but not not you were looking at me at the barbecue. No! I saw you. I wasn't. I felt I, you. No, I, I looked at you. I wasn't looking. So to recap for Best Revival of a Play, The Crucible, Long Day's Journey Into Night, Noises Off, A View from the Bridge, Blackbird, and now Off-Broadway. Turn Me Loose, starring Joe Morton from Scandal, is playing at the West Side Theater downstairs. It's directed by John Gould and written by Gretchen Law. Also in the cast is John Carlin playing various roles. Joe Morton portrays Dick Gregory. Here is a look. Learned since Obama's been president is that not all colored people look alike. <laughs> Ever since he's been in office, ain't no white people come up to me and say, oh, excuse me, Mr. President. <laughs> I sat down, blonde waitress walks over and I said, um, uh, could I have a cheeseburger, please? She said, well, we don't serve colored people. I, I don't eat colored people. <laughs> My wife called me from upstairs and said, honey, come on up here, let's have some sex. I said, well, it's either one or the other. <laughs> Now, if you want to see the real Dick Gregory, you can go to Caroline's on Broadway. On June 4th and 5th, Dick Gregory will be doing his act at the club. Up at Stage 72 for two nights only, June 4th and June 6th, 
a new version of Celebrity Autobiography and with a stellar cast. Over the two nights, you can catch Tate Donovan, Janine Garofalo, Jackie Hoffman, Sherry Shepard, Michael Yuri, Alan Zweibel, and Rachel Dratch. Anita Gillette and Penny Fuller bring their show, Sin Twisters, to the Metropolitan Room for two nights only, on June 3rd and the 9th. On June 6th and 18th at the Metropolitan Room, Tom Wopat will be bringing his new show to the club. You probably have seen him in Annie Get Your Gun or Catch Me If You Can or any number of performances or even on TV. He's certainly somebody you want to catch. For one night only on June 10th, Richard Malavet brings his Billy Eckstein tribute to the Metropolitan Room. And the next night, Saturday, June 11th, Maria Coburn celebrates her birthday with a very special show, Maria and Friends. I'm sure there'll be great surprises. At Feinstein's 54 Below, Barrett Foa brings his show to the club, Grin and Barrett, on Friday, June 3rd, and Tuesday, June 7th. On June 7th, Kurt Vile on Broadway with Mary Testa and Friends. On Wednesday, June 8th, Seth Sykes sings Liza Minnelli. Drag legend Charles Bush brings his show back to Feinstein's 54 Below on June 10th and 11th. Look for some surprises there. American Psycho has two Tony nominations for set design and lighting design. This is what being Patrick Bateman means to me. shows that received one nomination. For Misery, Laurie Medcalf, Best Actress. For Scenic Design of a Play, Therese Rakan and Huey. Jennifer Samard for Disaster. Don't wanna let you go. Dames at Sea, Best Choreography, Randy Skinner. Who says in your ear, every day in every way we're getting better and better. Right, good times are here to stay. Have you seen the headlines, the crowds and the bread lines? Your pals taking big cuts in pay. Stop acting the mourner, get out of that corner, and smile the American way. Hooray! When you hear the thunder, don't cry no one. Tuck Everlasting, Best Costumes. I have a partner, a car very cries. Someone to share in the view. Why see the world in all of its glories without a friend to tell your stories? And to close our show, nominated for Best Choreography, Sergio Trujillo for On Your Feet. <laughs> 